What's up, my supporting soldiers? I did not. <laughs> I wanted to so bad, but I did not go couponing today. I am so sorry, y'all. It just has so much going on. It's just so much chaos. And um, to be honest, I am just trying to get up in the morning, get some coffee, get my packs of vitamin C, and being a couponer, y'all know how we go in a Dollar Tree, honey, and we get them hauls. When we get them manufactured coupons, a dollar twenty-five off of two. I am so happy I picked up the defense hauls, guys, that supports the immune system. I have so many packs of those. So when I looked at the bottom of my cabinet, I was like, okay, let's get it popping, honey, with these hauls. Um, but yeah, I've always had some packs of the emergency um, in the bottom of the cabinet. Um, but the halls defense, you can take them every day. So your girl is getting her, getting her vitamin C in, honey. Yes, we um shortage of um, supply, like food and stuff. But honey, I'm going to get this immune system up, honey. I might even become a planter, honey. You know, planting some fruits. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go see what I did tonight, honey. Okay, my supporting soldiers, so... I'm on here because I want to go in coupons so, so bad, y'all. And um, I don't know. It's just a part of me just, you know, want to go home and, you know, take a shower and, um, you know, cook. And um, probably put a little deals together or whatever. Um, I don't know. I guess with all this going on or whatever, I'm not going to say that I don't have faith in God, but I'm going to also say you also have to take precautions, which is things that you normally do on a daily basis. Um, I don't know. It's just, um, I just want to go home and I just want to go cook. And so I was like, maybe I'll just do a video to show you guys. Like I just got out from work, y'all, and I am really exhausted. I have not really been getting sleep. Y'all know that, right? And, um, a lot of people be like, block this out, block that out. It's better, easier said than done. Um, so with that being said, y'all, I am just getting off. I don't know what else I'm going to put together in regards to this video, but I do want to go coupon. It's a lot of places. Like, I want to hit up Walgreens. I want to hit up Family Dollar. I want to hit up Dollar General. So, I mean, I don't even know, y'all. Like... What's up, y'all? Okay, so this is tonight. Yes, I take my gloves. I put my gloves on, honey, to mess with ground meat because I just don't like to touch it with my bare hands. So I just put a little Creole season on it, honey. My child over here eating all these Cheetos, honey, and dancing and all this foolishness. And she had the TV so freaking loud, y'all. So I had to do a voice overhead. <laughs> so she's just talking to me and then I just love that I love my child y'all and that's me yeah 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 so all I do is just put it all together I put a lot of season on it for some reason because sometimes it it'll feel like I hadn't even really put seat yeah yeah it's feel like I hadn't even put seasoning on it sometimes so um I just went on ahead and put more season Essence was telling me something and I just bust out laughing because we both are like goofy. So I just smashed it on in, honey. The wrist was just all in there, y'all. Like, thank God for gloves because I would not have been able to touch this without gloves. So sometimes you can actually put, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can actually put water on your hands to make the ground meat into the little balls. So where you won't have excessive amount of ground meat on your, your gloves, the water will keep it from putting excessive ground meat on your gloves. So you just roll away, honey. Just roll away. And that's all I did, y'all. I just made the meatballs first. And then after I made the meatballs, Essence was like, oh, I think I want some ground meat inside of the spaghetti. And I was like, mm, 
Well, I'm just rolling, y'all. We just did meatballs and put it in the sauce, honey, and that was it. So, I'm going to show y'all the finishing of the meatballs, honey. I boil y'all water first. I boil my water first and wait till it get really hot. And then I add the pasta inside of the pot. Do y'all add salt? I also add salt. Um, yeah, I do. I add a little salt to it um, inside of the pot and just let it boil from there. I ain't no chef. I ain't no chef. Oh, Y'all, I'm not no chef. All right, so of course, y'all, I did drain the grease off my meatballs, but I don't know. This is real life for me. Like, this is what it looked like when it came out the oven. So I'm just keeping it real. So after I took it out the oven, I went on ahead and I drained the grease off of it, of course. But I just didn't want to, like, edit, like, cute stuff. Like, this is real. Like, this is what I do. When I take it out, I put it on top of the oven, and then I take the spoon, and I take it out of there, and drain the grease off of it. Now, how do y'all check y'all pasta? I take my pasta. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of people do this, but this is how you know your pasta is done. So if you take a piece of your pasta out of the pot, and if you throw it on a cabinet, and if it do not move, that means that it's done. If you throw it on there and it just fall off, that means it is not done and that means it is not tender. So this is how I check my pasta or whatever. And it's just like, mama, just video you throwing it on the freaking um, cabinet door. I was like, no, I'll just do a voice over it and show them how it just sticks to the cabinet. Do anybody else do this? This is me. And this is what I do to make sure my pasta is done and not overly cooked. So yeah, drop me a comment and let me know if y'all do that. <laughs> but anywho, guys, this is my pasta. I take a little olive oil to separate the pasta so it won't stick and be like a big clump of pasta. So sometimes I will put olive oil and I put the little green stuff. Y'all know them people, that parsley looking stuff on top of the pasta. Um, but Essence was hungry, so I was like, let me just go ahead and um, put a little olive oil and, you know, move it around so it won't be really, really sticky. And, yeah. And, yep, that's great value, honey. It works the same as them other people. Yes, it do. Yeah, so I am done. I only fix me a little small, a little bit, but I like corn. That's that. That's my corn. Okay. That is that. I'm done. Smooching. This you got new? <laughs> Can I see your manager? I am the manager. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so if you still like to order coupons, um, you can just reach out to Shaquita Bimbo. And yes, I am back on Facebook, guys. I am back on Instagram. So I am so happy that I'm able to get on her, her channel, not her channel, all right, to get on her page. Um, and then um, seeing her with her hauls and stuff like that. So yeah, if y'all need coupons, just reach out to Shaquita Bimba. Um, she's very efficient, very professional, and I actually like her. So with that being said, guys, in the midst of everything going on, keep a positive mind, positive vibes, and positive life. I did not go couponing today, y'all. I wanted to go couponing so bad, but I just wanted to come home and cook and relax and just drink a glass of wine. And that's what I did. And I don't want to feel bad about not going couponing. But this is life for me, y'all. I don't go coupon every single day, but I want to. Well, we just want to